So we chill in here at work and we get the news coming in that the Eagles are trading for Chauncey Gardner-Johnson or CJ Gardner-Johnson, seen it listed in two different ways, over to the Eagles. And for the Eagles, this is just some additional depth because this is a guy that has a backup type grade, but with the Eagles, they're set on the outside in terms of the cornerback position. So that's really all they need, just a little bit more depth. You know, they already have James Bradbury and Darius Slay, who are elite ranking corners. And their secondary is already pretty good. You know, they're ranked 13 out of 32 according to Pro Football Focus. So this is a nice little pickup for them for a team that I already see making the playoffs. I think they're winning the NFC East. Yeah, NFC East. Because, I mean, the Cowboys, I think they're, you know, losing a little bit. They already lost um, arguably their best offensive line. Washington's a mess. The Giants, don't kid yourself. So this is just a nice little additional pickup. There's nothing too huge about this one, really. Um, yeah, there's not too much to say other than they're just getting a little bit more depth. This is a team that offensively, really no weaknesses. So that's why they're. it's really on Jalen Hurts this year. Defensively, they're pretty solid all around too, actually. And they have the offensive line. They've got the running back position, Miles Sanders. I think he's going to take a step this year and actually score some touchdowns. They made the trade for a receiver. So Jalen Hurts, it's on you. It's the opposite of the thing with uh, Justin Fields, like I talked about with the Bears, where there's no blame you could put on him. This is the make it or break it year. They're making moves to make this a squad. The NFC East is wide open. Jalen Hurts, this is where you show, are you that guy? Or are you just like, eh, capable, like a good guy in the locker room, but only really able to win and play that well against bad teams? The defense is there. The secondary is clearly there. They just got a little bit more depth. Offensively, it's really good. So this is a well-rounded team. And for the Saints, they just didn't want to extend him because his, you know, he's not that high level of a secondary player. And for the Saints going into next season, I don't think they have super – I don't know what their expectations would be because defensively they are solid. And they, you know, still have some offensive pieces for sure. Alvin Kamara is still around. But with a new coach, James Winston Witt, coming off an injury, I would assume their expectations aren't very high. But in the NFC, you know, I'm not. I'm sure they're not thinking complete tank. I think they're just thinking, eh, we don't need to hold on to every single, single little piece because we're not winning a Super Bowl. But let me know what y'all think. Drop a comment, hit that like, and can you please subscribe? Yes, sir.